imagine you have a lifespan from something like 50, maybe 20 years. With somebody, by force of genetic modification, by means of force feeding, that you force to grow to adulthood and last than one half year. Imagine that you're being raped, that your children are being stolen away from you, that you children being hanging upside down, and then some creeper, when there be meals, cut their testicle. You heard a scream. To, procure, to control procreation. Well, it's out and station. Imagine that you are without voice, that in the eyes of your oppression, your life don't matter at all. That you are meaningless, that I can do with they want with you and how they please. And then you will put on a concentration camp truck. Force to you that not I've get even one single moment of human compassion in your whole life. In life where you have stand between bars without being to be one big, mm, big concentration camp or farm. In a society captured by a bunch of naked apes that called themselves humans. What is anything humane about this way of living? Are you truly think? There is something as humane slavery or humane holocaust. Think about it. All animals are not being on this planet on this planet for humans. All living beings being here for their own reasons. For you or not now, humans are 100 percent herbivore, physiological and anatomical. We don't need animal products to survive. There is no single vitamin or mineral that you not can get from the plant kingdom. And if you then say bio 12, be aware that 40% of the US population have a vitamin B12 deficiency. If only one, maybe 2% of the US population is vegan. How can that be a vegan issue? This is a problem because of humans' um, obsession with um, being extremely clean all the time, because then dest we destroy all the vitamin, all the uh, vitamin, vitamin B12 on the vegetables and in the ground where we, where we uh, get our plants products from, and that we clean it extremely, and that we we obsessed by any um, bacteria, even. Our body have um, more bacteria cells than human cells. If you are away from around something like uh, 70 kilograms, you have around something like 40 trillion bacteria and 30 trillion, you guessed it, human cells. There are around something like 700 to thousand types of bacteria in the human organism. The human symbiote 
maar zij is ten wiel. Because some, most people think that there are individuals. Dat is also een delusion. You are not an individual. You are a symbiote. You are, so if I explain, there have been many kinds of bacteria and uh, symbiotic bacteria where we live in symbiosis with and with them, without them, we cannot digest our, uh, our just the vitamins and minerals and take and synthesize also some other vitamins and minerals from that. And our symbiotic organism will go to decay. All animals want to be free, want to be protected, don't want to be tortured, want not to be abused, don't be so gullible to slick marketing propaganda from that animals like to be on the menu. If they're all saying, kill me, take anything from me. If you place yourself in the animal's position, there's no way you can justify the things humans do to other animals on a daily basis. Steal the children, cast them, um, in the case of by eggs, put their babies, the male babies, into a, a rendering machine, fully conscious, they cut the beaks and the tails of uh, the female chicks, because we put them in too small places where they're not can live. Imagine that you be put in one room uh, with 20 people and you only for any people uh, one or one half a half meter in one place. 20 people with a spaces that you, uh, is just big enough that you can take, that you can put your hand out of your space. That you, yes, that you only can do this but uh, and you will not uh, uh, attack somebody or touch somebody. How will you feel more? Uh, how will you feel if somebody takes your children away from you? Commodified you? Turns you into an inanimate object? And you think you'll understand it? If you honestly place yourself there in their position, you know, understand why the psychotic addiction of me, Derry Neck, have to be in was. That people uh, do it and have done it for decades or maybe longer. They'll make it anything good. Slavery costs more than 400 years to be abolished. Another 100 years after that, women get rights. And now, homosexuals can finally marry in the psychotic system of uh, marrying. Of the white men in America and Europe. Of the white middle class and elite heterosex men. Peace begins on the dinner table by what you eat on a daily basis. Awaken humans. How can you ask for something? That you are not willing to give. That's a violation. You don't deserve rights when somebody else has not. That's a violation. 